hearing your own voice. It's, it's a distance yeah. pretty. Yeah, so does Logan know his own name? Yeah, he knows his, his name. He knows his Hawaiian name as well. If you say Logan or Kauliuli or Kapai Aina, he'll look. You know. Excellent. He's and very curious. He's doing very well. Um, he's pretty big. He's 21 pounds, and he wow. turns nine months next week. Wow. Um, just about crawling. Last night, I saw him scooting across the, 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 the living room on his knees to get his toys, so he's, he's getting it figured out. He's definitely tracking. I see him checking checking things out. Yeah, and he loves his sister. Um, you know, and she loves him. But man, nothing he likes more. He won't even go to sleep anymore until his sister is in the room with him. All right, you know? and I, I would assume He's that she. Nine o'clock. I, I bet she loves that. I, I bet she loves being big sister. She loves being big sister. She wishes he would go to sleep earlier so we could play checkers and watch little Einsteins and things like that, um, <laughs> unfettered. There we but, go. Uh, does she get to stay up a little bit later than he does? <clears throat> yeah, you know, we've never really put our kids on a real strict uh, timeline or bedtime. Um, we've kind of always had the, the attitude that they're on that our children are on our schedule rather than the other way around. Yeah. So Alana's pretty flexible. There's some nights she's up late, we're out later, we come home later, we're having fun. Other nights we get her to bed early if we, you know, she has school in the morning. Mm -hmm. She's really pretty good about it. What time does she have to wake up for school? Um, I try and get up around 6.30 at the latest so I can feed her for an hour and a half. We don't have to leave till 8.30, but that way she's up. Um, you know, we get everything ready. 6.30 6 to 7, I suppose. And I bet she mm -hmm. still loves school? Loves it. Oh. <laughs> loves it a lot. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Yeah, well, um, she's, so, she's, well. she's so social, I can see. And it's half day, right? Yeah, it's just half day. Yeah, and you know, um, Alana is just as social with with people my age, like with, with adults. Um, we were at a little barbecue yesterday at Balboa Park for a friend. They were playing some ultimate frisbee and whatnot, and there was a handful of other little children there. And Alana played with them um, a little bit, but she was a lot more interested to just go sit with all the other groups of adults, male and female, and just chat with them. Yep. Ask them, hey, help, kick a soccer ball with me. Help me with this frisbee. Did you know I'm going to Hawaii in Christmas? My cousins are Aiden and Allie. My teachers are Miss Lesia. It's just mm -hmm. going on and on and on. And holding court with uh, people much, much older than her. So yeah. I'm proud of I, that. Absolutely. And I want to point out that it's because you and your wife speak to her with respect. And she trusts you. She has no reason to be afraid of you. And you're interested in what she says. Um, yes, reason to be proud of her. But again, this is... This is, uh, in a certain sense, people want to educate their kids. And I'm, I'm starting to read a, a book. Um, it's called, uh, oh, what is it? Something Sheep. It's about how elite college students um, are, are kind of just so geared towards ambition that they are not reflective. They're depressed, basically. Um, <laughs> it, you know, it's about how, what a mess elite college students are these days. Um, <laughs> But, you know, and then people put all their pressure on their kids later on. And you know, what I want to get people to see is, you know, just do what you're doing. You, you think and talk and you relate to them. You know, so Alana at this age, by means of doing what she's doing, she's just going to be fine without this yeah. stress later on, you know? She has confidence, you know, and I, I like that. We're nothing without confidence. So that's yeah. a big part of it. And, and what's interesting is, um, you know, there's an upward spiral. So the more interesting she is as a human being from an adult perspective, um, the more likely unfamiliar adults will engage her in conversation. And actually, she's already at the point where she can probably engage them in conversation, you know? She does. She does. Whether it's at that park or at my local bar where I take her for breakfast now, now and then on Sundays, um, she has no problem. She'll sit right next to someone and just... And, and I love how she believes that her conversation, her things are just as interesting to others as, as, as it is to her. So she will sit there and tell them all about her cousins and yep. Uncle bought her a new dress and it's very pretty. And do you want to and, see it sometime? You seem nice. So why don't you come over and play? <laughs> yeah, and, and adults Hilarious. love it. Pe people love it, you know. Um, and she, she is blessed with just a fun, cool personality. I totally get that. No, um, she is. But yeah, you know, you can imagine, you know, and you probably see parents at the park where they snap at their children or they yell at them or where they ignore them when the kids are trying to talk to them. Right. And, you know, uh, yeah, just all these micro second by second interactions where you're, you're engaging this flowering of her. Um, you know, it'll make it so that school is so easy. Is her school bilingual? 
Uh, no, it's just in Spanish. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is there Spanish improving? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, her, her, her vocabulary is growing. Her comfort level with basic sentences is much higher than it was, you know, a year ago, even though she knew it at the time, she's mm -hmm. able to speak it. Um, Alana's really become proud of the fact that she speaks Spanish and that she's learning Spanish because all the times we've told her that we're proud of it and we're, we're, that we value it has really seemed to rub off. She used to be kind of shy about it, and now she loves telling people, and I speak Spanish. Really. Maravilloso. You know? Yeah. Is, are most of the other students at the school um, native speakers or 50 Unfortunately not. Unfortunately, it's 100% uh, gringo. Mm -hmm. uh, Alana is by far the best uh, Spanish speaker in her class, and that's largely due, with all respect to the Yak Academy, to Tia Andrea, who taught Alana Spanish as from an infant. So yeah. Alana has a big advantage because she's one of the only students who spent any amount of time with, actually immersed in a Spanish-speaking home. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I don't like about her school is that Alana is, you know, she's the best, she's the best speaker in her class. So she's, mm -hmm. she's helping the other kids come up. I wish right. there was three or four kids in that class who really spoke Spanish and that was dragging Alana along. Yeah. You know? On the other end, it's great to, uh, you know, it's great for the, for her ego. She is, she is the best. Um, is a teacher a native speaker? Yes, they all are. Um, Excellent. And, you know, being in San Diego, they're authentic immigrants as well. Um, so, right. uh, and they love Alana. They note that she doesn't speak Spanish with an English accent. Mm -hmm. And again, that's thanks to Tia. Um, but Alana's sweet and she listens well. I guess um, now, and so that she's in the little, or she's in the four year old class now. So they keep points on if you're listening to the teacher and whatnot. And Alana was very proud to tell me the other day she got seven points. And All she right. pointed out that Lucius got zero points. <laughs> <laughs> Lucius. And I speaking of, of Lucius, I bring him up because uh, Alana was writing a card to Lucius. Whenever she has a spare minute, she grabs pens and paper and writes cards to people. Thank you cards, hello cards. She's very sweet and she's uh, trying to write. And I'm just pulling out my phone so I can uh, show you the picture of how she wrote it. Um, so she was trying to spell Lucius. Mm -hmm. And I was cooking and Marla was in the other room and so we were, uh, where is it? Um, there it is. So she's asking how to spell it. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why don't you write it first, Hold on, and then I'll show you. So she wrote it as, as this. I don't know if you can see it. I, I can't very clearly, but go ahead and it's explain to me. L-O-O-C-I-U-S. Fabulous. Lucius. He spells it L-U-C-I-U-S. And she could have spelled it with an S-H, but she phonetically sounded out a relatively difficult word. Say hi, Alana. Hi. Hey, Alana. How you doing? Hi. Yeah. So, ¿Puede hablar español? Sí. Maravilloso. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's great that she uh, she's spelling, you know, and, and you're right. Phonetically, it's actually a pretty good, pretty good shot. Yeah. Um, you know, and she even spells her, her uh, I don't know if Alana's like, I don't know if the word dyslexic is correct, but she gets her B's and D's mixed up. She writes her S's and N's backwards. Mm-hmm. But um, I think it's cute, and I like it. It kind of looks like ancient Greek, so. <laughs> there, there you go. And also patience. I think a lot of it is not stressing over that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, stressing over that stuff just makes it worse. You know, and at some point, you get keyboard, and it's done, and, um, you know, handwriting is going to be uh, an esoteric skill relatively soon. Exactly. Not already. <laughs> and as it, as it stands, I mean, I have terrible handwriting. I couldn't even be a doctor if my handwriting is so, is so terrible. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, it's hard for me to fill out a form by hand anymore. You know, I can do my signature, but beyond that, it feels strange. It does feel like I'm practicing an ancient art somehow. Exactly. Um, but uh, one thing we talked about last week was trying to do some financial literacy with Alana and mm -hmm. try to get that going. So we've been putting thought into it. And an idea that I had a while ago that I've never really executed with Alana, but I think the time is ripe, is, you know, she wants to learn to make money. Um, she's really interested in that. She knows that money allows us to buy things. Yep. So we are looking for ways for her to make money and both inside the home and outside of the home. Mm -hmm. And my idea for outside of the home was to set up a tent at Balboa Park on the big promenade there with all the other vendors and offer financial services um, where, where, uh, she, where uh, she can make change for people um, in uh, pesos, euros, dollars, and Bitcoin. Wow. Um, 
and I'm gonna we're gonna make a list of all the darn services that I think that that we can brainstorm that uh, she can offer. Sing the second verse to the ABCs. Uh, <laughs> teach you how to read. Uh, help yep. you learn to use an abacus. Um, all right. Your children for. 20 minutes, um, leave your kids there to play for a few minutes while their parents get coffee or whatever, something like that. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to post up and see, if, and see if she can make a buck or two. You know what? I, I love all of those. What might be really cool is if she gets the basic abacus, for her to teach other kids math. I and mean, parents all over are worried about their kids' math. Yeah. How cool would it be if you had a four-year-old offering abacus-based math lessons to other kids, you know, and, you know, say, suppose you could like, you know, in 10 minutes, I'll teach them how to do, you know, X or Y, you know, something, count to one to 10 or add two numbers or something. And right. I think parents would love to, and, and Alana could do it. That's what's amazing is I could see Alana with all earnestness. Okay, <laughs> this is how you do it, you know, and walking them through it. Yeah, uh, no, she uh, couldn't. So we've been working with her on our on counting. So now she understands how to count by tens, not just by ones. Really trying to hammer in what what you said a couple weeks ago about teaching her, you know, tens, hundreds. That's how our our um, language works, our language of math. So she knows now the difference between counting by ones and then counting by tens. She can count by tens to a hundred. So we're going to keep working on it. And we've been watching YouTube videos about how to use her abacus. So. Very cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. Abacus was very powerful. And uh, I, I, I think that would be a blast. So, um, you know, if you do it, I think try to video, try to videotape whatever you do. I think it'll be super cool footage. We'll do. Just because she's such a character. You know, she, she is so bright and articulate, but she's also funny, you know? Yeah, and she's really sweet, you know? Um, she's so earnest. Like, Alana gets just as excited about little things as she does about big things. If you buy, if you give her a sticker or you mm -hmm. buy her a new dress, she has the same. Oh man, Uncle Gene bought me this. It's she, he's so nice. Thank you. It's really you know, something. You know what else you can do, and maybe this is already part of it. Is um, you know, if you have a little table, you could uh, create a little, you know, a sign and kind of a skirt for the table with you yeah. know Alana's services, and I bet she would have a blast preparing it at home and then going and setting it up out there. Oh, yeah. And you know how in Charlie Brown, you know, there's a lemonade stand or the psychiatrist stand. Uh, I forget right. who it was. Yeah. But you know, have your own little cute stand. Um, and you could create the Alana brand. I bet she could get the idea of a brand. Um, yeah, I was thinking about calling my kids uh, THC, the hot commodities. <laughs> <laughs> and then set them up. But yeah, well, for sure. Um, we're going to, so Alana's taking over my Snapchat account. I downloaded Snapchat so I could keep up with the kids. Yep. And uh, by the way, just from a business perspective, Snapchat, what they're doing is pretty, pretty incredible. Hey, hang on, brother. But um, Alana's been doing that, and uh, she's basically running my Snapchat. And uh, we're going to set her up and get her on Instagram or something. Okay. She's into it. Well, this is all super fantastic, and uh, we're probably kind of at our time limit. And it looks like Logan maybe needs some attention. I think so. From okay. his mother. Great Thanks, stuff, Michael. Ryan. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.